back. <laughs> we took a very long break. We did. <laughs> but we're back and we have a very special guest. Mm -hmm. uh, our very first female guest yeah. as well. I would just like to put it out there. It's finally happening. It was all the boys <laughs> every single time. But not today. Mm -hmm. Today we have the most wonderful Janet Warney. Please welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for having me. How long of a break did you take? Oh, God, it was a fair few weeks because I went on holiday oh. and um, yeah. we have, yeah, it's been a, like two or three weeks, I think, three. since we last I think it, recorded. It's yeah. Three. Hello, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That is Lily Kay. And as she mentioned previously, this is Janet Varney. Wow. Yay. <laughs> All right, all right. I have so many questions. I am a big Cora fan. Like it's it's outstanding. It's it's my gem, so I can't believe you're actually here. <laughs> believe it. Okay, so first and foremost, we have some great and amazing updates regarding Avatar and Avatar Studios and, and everything. What what can you tell us? Almost nothing. I mean, I really, <laughs> I can't say anything outside of what has been made public. And sometimes stuff gets made public, like through a different channel um, yes. that uh, that I don't even find out about until it's on social media. Oh, and uh, and then like Dante and I are always like, hey, what what's happening? <laughs> so we try to be in the loop as much as we can. But sometimes um, like a different, you know, like the, the press office will release something that uh, that they like didn't for some reason forgot to tell us about um so that we can't talk about it on braving the elements right now we're off season we're on hiatus so uh so i'm sort of like you know looking like everybody like oh what else is gonna be announced like is anything you know what what, what will be the latest news and um but it's yeah it's it's incredible uh it's so exciting to just know that so much beautiful stuff is being worked on how much or little we are allowed to talk about or, or even know about <laughs> Um, just knowing that there's world building happening from the people who created the Avatar verse in the first place is just, it's just a, makes me feel very, uh, sometimes, you know, it's easy to feel glum about our future a little bit. And <laughs> it may be a small thing, but, you know, it, it matters because there are so many people that I meet when I do conventions and stuff who are doing really great real world work. And they mm. talk about how they got their values from watching Avatar The Last Airbender as kids. So I've seen firsthand how much what you take in can end up influencing the world around you. Oh, yeah. That's, that's so sweet. That's really... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just told Katie before you came on that I am I am so sad that I didn't have the chance to go and see you when you came to, to London at MCM. Yeah. I was like... Shit, I I really wanted to, but when it gets busy, mm. it gets busy, and sure thing, we had a table to you know handle as well. So I was like, oh god. So I sent my friend, who apparently you signed my drawing for her. Yes. So, so I yes. Was like, Yay! At least you saw that, and now you see me. Yay! <laughs> I did. I did, and that's I I love those moments too because when someone comes with something from a friend who couldn't be there. Um, that's like a, it's, it, I hate that the person can't, couldn't come, but I love the conversation of the person who's like, they're so sad they're not here. <laughs> and, you know, and, and that, you know, that's like, that's fr hashtag friendship. Like, love that, you know? Yeah. It's Very so true. cool. Katie, what's your, your, what's in your head? Oh gosh. I don't what know. Cause I, they, um, I'm, I'm in a terrible position cause I've not actually seen any, I've seen a little bit of Airbender, but I haven't seen any of Korra. So I'm in a very like, but I did put this behind me because I am a big Critical Role fan and it was very, nice. very, very, and I was like, uh, just very excited to hear that you were in it because as well, I, um, I was big into, um, Project Alpha back in the day and you're, you obviously hosted uh, Escape. Yes. Which very much got me into escape rooms. Oh, good. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Something like six at this point. Haven't lost yet. Doing oh, very that's, well. That's really good odds. That's a really, I mean, I would say like for the most part, if you, once you, you know, the first few you do, it's the hardest to sort of, because you have to understand, you come to understand the language, just like yeah. learning any kind of game, you know, the mm. first time you go in, if it's a hard one, people are like, what am I supposed to do? Like, how yeah. do I, 
acquaint myself with this whole thing and then that's, you sort of get yeah, better and better such like the, the whole concept of them is so created specifically for the way my brain works because yes! i love puzzles and i i stumbled that's across true. it by accident um uh, at one point and and kind of just ate the whole thing up because it's so much this like what are we doing what things can i put together a hundred percent yeah i really you know it took me a while to start doing them because um you know it, people like the way it was described or even just the name like escape room i was like this is totally gonna like trigger my panic attacks like <laughs> this is gonna create That's such a sense of anxiety i'm gonna feel so trapped and like i know while i know i'll be safe there's just something about that that's going to create this like false sense of mm -hmm. and people had to be like no 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 it's not like that at all like <laughs> this you will not feel that way because i really was i was imagining like because i feel like the earlier ones they leaned more into like so there's a bunch of scary zombies and like yeah. jump scares and you know tense music like pounding you know that all sounded like well that that seems unpleasant that just seems like a really intense work deadline that your that your life is on the line over yeah. and so um it wasn't until you know i did my first one i was like oh no this is so cool this is like indiana jones moment like this is great because you sort of do feel like you're you're the really great ones that really immerse you in something else um are are so fun because they do they like press all of they sort of check all of those little kid boxes yeah. plus puzzles yeah. it's great I, I get I get such a kick out of them. Um, now we we I mean I've done we've done like a I've done a pirate one with my family. We did like I don't know if how much you know about like Modrophenia, and that kind of like so there's there was like a thing in the I think it was the sixties because I'm near Brighton down in the UK. Oh sure, so we're talking um, like straight up like Brit Brit mod. Yeah, Brit, it was like it was all that kind of so it was nice because it, it was like somebody's apartment and there was like a big Love. Vespa in the middle of it. That was yes. the only one we got like this close to not doing it. I was oh. really convinced that we weren't going to get it, but we, <laughs> uh -huh. we managed it just in time. Excellent, excellent. But, um, yeah, I just I, I I I get such a kick out of them now. Uh, I'm like every time it's like we've been a couple of months. I'm like, guys, we need to do another escape room. <laughs> oh, they're so fun. Lily, have you done any? one but oh my gosh it up. i gotta <laughs> when you you we gotta, i gotta drag you back at some point yes. and drag you into an escape room somewhere it definitely, so fun. I, you know i'm because what we did we did like a prison one like a prison mm -hmm. break oh i knew you were gonna say that which by my the way had i done Alcatraz. a prison one that's the most stressful those can be the most stressful because mm -hmm. you're like oh i'm locked in a cell until xyz yeah yeah, yeah it was it was very stressful and <laughs> the guy who was basically hosting the whole thing even came out came in like halfway through and he was like how did you find that clue like you weren't supposed to find that you were supposed to break this clue and then get to that like you, you just messed it up for yourself <laughs> but oh, no. I, I I would put it out there we, we solved it in the end mm. you solved it we solved it we, we solved it at the yeah we were at 59 minutes good for you the very well, first one I did I feel like Alcatraz. yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah, we got to get you to one that's less that ha has that less of that tension and more of the kind of magical stuff. Mm. Oh, either that or something horror stuff like because that's my other thing. That okay, I like. all right. So like, sure we'll get does. you one with some creepy doll heads. Ooh. I've not done anything like super creepy. <laughs> the the worst one honestly was the Alcatraz one because when we were watching the video, I kind of turned to everybody was like trying to start making a strategy, and then the woman came in. I'm an incredibly jumpy person just uh -huh. naturally she came in she like burst the door open and yelled and i fully screamed and then my sort of, <laughs> my sort of sense yeah. of like okay i'm I'm up here now and then we mm -hmm. walked into the room and there's like a bed in the corner and it looks like somebody's in the bed and i was like i don't trust that uh -huh. <laughs> the very first thing we did was like i'm taking that apart it was just it was just a head in a bed it just made yeah. it look like you knew person. though like you i was something like needed to do. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not mm -hmm. having that jumped at me. <laughs> yeah, smart. Smart. Yeah, eliminate the th it, eliminate the threats. Every time it's something like you put something together and something like opens really suddenly, I will jump out of my skin. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just loud. I'm like, it's fine. It's just my reflexes are working properly. Yeah. People thing. don't understand you can't control that. It's like your sympathetic response system is physiological. <laughs> There's only so much you can do to mitigate that. If you are a person who... I because I, I totally do the same thing and people are like why are you so I'm like I, uh, 
This is not like <laughs> this is not a choice. This is just like how how I react. You know, I, love, I went to see back in 2014 when um, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier came out. I went and saw that in the cinema with a bunch of friends and for whatever reason I was particularly jumpy that day so every explosion had me just going oh. <laughs> and I was sitting next to a girl I didn't know very well and I heard her turn to the person next to her at one point and just go is she all right? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like I'm okay <laughs> I'm just jumpy <laughs> it's loud in here oh man it it happens. It it really mm-hmm. does happen. I'm I'm very jumpy as well, and I still like horror. So like you know, I mean, it, well, just... you know, listen the 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 like the dopamine or the adrenaline for you might be like a faster delivery, or it might you know be a little bit more endorphin and a little bit less cortisol. Mm-hmm. Like I super nerd out on that kind of stuff. So maybe it's it's very possible. <laughs> I I just love horror movies, and it's so it, every time every time it comes up, I have to say this: it is one of the hardest genres to nail and mm-hmm. to get right agree so that's why i'm like when i find a good one i'm very happy and it's yeah. very rare i will just what's the last one that you really thought this was really special or like they really nailed it for whatever vibe they were going for they like got it hit it on the head oh that's a good question because i uh, the fun thing is that it's not really a horror but uh, but the topic it picks up it it's so realistic and so scary that it becomes sort of like a horror it's a korean movie called unlogged on, on okay. netflix and i already had that katie yes yeah, she's she's been yelling okay. at me about this one yes <laughs> all right i definitely want to yeah i definitely want to uh mark that down that's great and it's, it's on netflix fantastic it, it has a lot to do with these things that okay. we use unlocked. every day and it freaks if, if it I, it scared me so much because it's it's like it can happen because there are just people mm-hmm. who can do this stuff and I'm like oh my god I am so freaked out and I especially like the ending so if you two ever get around to watch it <laughs> I I really want to talk about the ending because I think they did something very smart there uh that I just very much appreciated so mm-hmm. I I think that was the scariest non horror movie basically that i watched okay but if if it has it if uh, i really like the barbarian which was the bill scars god movie i think it was so much fun i i loved how they put together all the storylines how it all uh, came together uh and i recently was the, did watched... they call that the northman in the states i wonder no no, no. Uh, that's this is different yeah. That's a different scar. Oh, the barbarian brother. I haven't seen. The barbarian I haven't seen. That's right. It's, it's up on Disney Plus, funnily enough. So okay, <laughs> you can you can catch it there. But it's it's really out there, but it in in like a weird way and in a good way as well. So I watched okay. it on on okay. the plane home from MCM actually. <laughs> and God, were, I got it. <laughs> there were two kids next to me, and, and there was a scene where I was like, I know. <laughs> I know. I you, you really you really realize how much everyone can see your screen when you made a decision that you don't think about until there's a scene that you're like, hello, how are you? Yes. Hi. Look, yes. Appreciate yep. this. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, and, and, and my favorite thing ever is, is my new favorite franchise. I feel like it's becoming that is A Quiet Place. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's like. That's my gem. I've watched it yeah. so many times. Both that was really that. Yeah, they, they those are really well done. Yeah, that's got a really good hook. If you mm-hmm. put, want to put it that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. So yeah. So yeah. Those those are like the, the best things out there for me currently. Are you are you a big horror person, or are you are you is there like a different sort of genre that you kind of go for? Um, I mean, I like horror. I think, I I think you're right. I mean, you guys are both. You, you are right. I agree that it's really hard to get right. So. Mm-hmm. I have to usually I I do really rely on word of mouth like I need I I won't rush mm-hmm. out and see something until a few people that you know have similar uh taste as me will say something really I positive about it and then I'm like oh, okay you know um but yeah I mean I I think it's funny when you were talking about unlocked the thing I thought about was like one of the best horror things I've ever not been able to watch because it was so well done yeah. was also just like, no, but this really happened, which was the HBO Chernobyl. 
that w- oh. I was like, that was so good that within mm-hmm. the first half of the first episode, I was like, I can't do this. I've not gone <laughs> like, around to that this one. This too stressful and terrifying. It is. Terrifying <laughs> on a horror movie, otherworldly level. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up just listening to the HBO podcast that they did where they (laughs) talked about all the episodes. And I was like, I feel like I saw it. It's great. I I totally still appreciate it. It was brilliant. And I didn't have to actually sit through something that was making me physically like so tense, like my neck hurt. I love doing that sort of thing. It very much helps me, especially because I've been playing um, I've been playing this game called Outer Wilds recently, Mm -hmm. which um, I loved. But there's parts of it that are just it's not even like scary it's just like spooky so it kind of unnerves you for long periods and it's like (sighs) there are just some parts of it where it's just like i'm not going to be able to do this so i'll probably just like find somebody else who's done it (laughs) like yep (laughs) yep yep this is why this is why twitch exists i think is (laughs) that's a big part of it um yeah the other one that i think real like when you talk about spooky or just Mm -hmm. sort of unnerving um annihilation really like bothered me and i kept I, but yeah. i cu- i keep wanting to watch it again which mm. is a weird feeling when you're like i was like i don't i this is i'm so uncomfortable in this but it's so beautiful and it's so immersive and the music is so amazing that i i ended up watching it a second time even though after the first time i was like i don't think i ever need to see that again like yeah. that fucked with me yeah. and then i yeah. apparently wanted to be fucked with again because i was like nope i i feel drawn to watch it again i think there's I like the a same. thing a part of it that's sort of like i don't have the ability to process that properly yet so i need to see it again to see if i can get anything else out of it mm-hmm. yeah um i've only seen it the once but i read the books well i did too the, yeah the, but the, i read yeah. i read after i de- yeah. i read the book after. Uh, yeah it was and really the additional well. books really interesting like watching that movie after reading the books because i think um alex garland said yep. when he was writing the movie that he didn't want to make a straight adaptation so he made mm-hmm. an adaptation of how he remembered the books and it's so I it is alex so garland. that yeah it, i love him and he's mm-hmm. such a right yeah he, and he's such a world builder that that makes that's a good for him i feel like that's the right thing Work. to do because mm-hmm. he has to put his you know sort of like imprint on it and his what he does is so interesting did you guys watch um men i haven't gone around to it it was one of those ones that didn't really come out anywhere Uh, nearby (laughs) you got to report back if if you do watch it i wow i love the trailer for it i have nothing to say i can't say anything i can't say anything because everything i want to discuss is so specific to like exactly what happens in the movie so i i heard them a lot of bad things about it i didn't love it i did not love it um, interesting but like every alex garland film i think i've ever seen i mm. couldn't stop thinking about it even though i didn't like it mm. okay i uh, i'm glad i watched it which is a weird that's a weird vibe on in, mm. unto itself but that's i'm always interested in what alex garland garland gets up to like i didn't mm-hmm. love that's devs true. Um, I had some real issues with devs, but I couldn't stop watching it. I just kept, I just kept showing up for it because something about the feeling that it left me with, Mm. it was doing something to my brain that, that I still wanted to see what was going to happen. Or I still wanted to, to be in that world, even if I didn't agree with all the creative choices. Um, he's fascinating to me. He's fascinating to me. I I get that feeling. I was just, I I said, um, recently I finished watching Legion, um, Mm -hmm. Which I I loved the first Gave season, up. and then I I kind of I watched season two, got a bit disappointed with some of the choices they made. Did a couple episodes of season three, and then left it for like four years. Finally went back and watched all of season three again recently, and I was like, okay. He, the thing about this show is that like I don't agree with the narrative choices, but it's made so interestingly that I'm sure. kind of like, it, like I can I can accept some things while it, like really not liking some of the other stuff. <laughs> I was yeah, like... I mean, I think I could have gone that way with it. That's a real 50-50. Like, I chose yeah. to just go, I don't know, goodbye, you know. But <laughs> I could just as easily have stayed with it and and sort of liked what I liked and still been like, oh, so many mistakes. I would have done so many things differently, yeah, but I'm glad the, I watched it. There was yeah. a, like a pretty decent, like a really big thing, like decision that they made with um, specifically um, uh, Dan Stevens' character, David. That I was just yeah. like, I don't like this. I don't think it works. Mm. And I, I I I see what you're going for, but it just like uh, just you've gone too far is like mm-hmm, the way it mm-hmm. feels like. 
So it, but I like, I liked the way that they kind of resolved a lot of the stuff, and everybody in it is so fantastic that it's almost yeah. like, oh, you, you nearly had something like perfect. Here. Yeah, yeah. They do that a lot. It's of hard time. to make stuff. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> it is. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard it's, to make it, stuff, especially in the world we are living right now. Like you know, everyone is. It's always like we know better. Uh, this is how it should have been. But this mm -hmm. is how it yeah. we we make theories and and whatnot. Like you know, I had. Uh, that's why I'm I'm basically taking myself out of my favorite things and just enjoying them as they are for myself. Mm -hmm. Because I less the last thing I read up on was the Mandalorian. Because everyone was like, you know, bitching about this season. And I was oh, like, yeah. I haven't even watched it yet. I like, I did the thing where I do sort of the, you pay, it out. the pay stuff in chunks. Yeah. Because yeah. there was a point at which I had everything and I like did the thing where you add it all up and you're like, I'm paying how much per month? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm paying like $300. I mean, it was so expensive. It seemed like, and I just, I like panicked and was like, cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm going to keep the Hulu and Netflix right now. And then I'll like, <laughs> all, you sort of always have Netflix because it's also kind of reasonably, and like always HBO because there's all, they're really good at like always having something yeah, about to yeah, roll out true. that you really mm -hmm. want to see. But yeah, I had to like take a break from Showtime for a minute till Yellow Jackets came mm -hmm. back, and like I, it's, and also Disney Plus was um was one where it was like you know a friend had it and they were like mm. here let's share log and then uh, one day it was gone. <laughs> it was oh like, no! <laughs> oh, and so then I got it, and then I was like you know oh I really I remember when I when I, someone was sharing <laughs> yeah. it with me that was really nice, but it's unquestionable that now there's like a stack of stuff. The last time, oh, the last we yeah. had it, we watched all of Andor, and then I and then I was like, okay, oh, goodbye for now. Andor, my beloved. That's I loved the, it so much. I loved it. Yeah, Ever, I loved it. Like, it was honestly it was also our episode because we did our episode about it when we we talked about the whole thing and it finished. Mm. Probably one of our favorite discussions that I've ever had. Just oh yeah, yeah, there's yeah, so much meat to it, and I, I that oh was for sure. Oh god, I had so much fun with that one. I had I was so disfranchised with like um Star Wars in general for so long yeah. where it was like yeah. I kind of grew up on it but then like nothing was really doing it for me anymore. And then Andor came out and I was like, "Oh, okay. Now I'm like this is like brought me back into it. I'm playing um Jedi Fallen Order now." I oh cool. For, I got it for Christmas and finally I'm sitting down to play finally. It. Um <laughs> which is fun cuz the next game comes out in like 6 days. So I'm yep, like that is the true. right time. Um, yeah. But now I've got like this in back into Star Wars. I'm like, oh, okay. I I remember like the way I liked this as a kid, and I can kind of appreciate the world building stuff about it now. Yeah. Because I found that. Well, it's the... not about ma. I mean, that one isn't about magic, which is, I guess, what everyone mm. kept circling back to. And I, I'll have to listen to you guys talking about it because I didn't. You know, I mostly just talked about it with my partner, but. Um... Like what you know, it was interesting that it wasn't that it that it was truly a story that kind of could have existed mm -hmm. because it was Tony Gilroy, right? That's who yeah. it is, mm -hmm. and he's so brilliant and just writes such great drama that it's you so know, true. if you extracted it and put it in a different setting, it could potentially have worked on this yeah. on all of the same levels. So it just enhanced the Star Wars world, and mm -hmm. the Star Wars world enhanced it in this really nice synergistic way. Um, but it wasn't like leaning hard on you know the Jedi trope or mm -hmm. you know the, the evil Empire trope as much. It felt more like oh these we understand that these characters could exist in another universe as well, and that and it's just a great storytelling, mm -hmm. and it's made better by the fact that it's here. Yeah, and I think part of it as well has made me now more excited about like the actual like magic stuff like i'm more interested mm -hmm. in like the way that the force works and how all of these like political systems like work together and i have more of the sense of like oh these are who like the separatists are and the partisans and all these sorts of things i'm like oh i know yeah. things now i, feel like <laughs> <laughs> I care I feel like to I've, know them i feel like i've been given an in which i felt like i had i i, I didn't get on with the second season of the mandalorian nearly as much as i think some people did because mm. there were some moments where like characters would pop up and it didn't really give any space to like explain who they were for people who hadn't watched like the mm -hmm. entirety of clone wars or all of rebels and all this sort of stuff sure. so i was kind of like i don't know why this guy's important and i feel like i'm being shut out of this narrative yeah i get that for sure well, did you watch the expanse either of you 
Yes. No, my parents watched all of it. So I kind of heard okay. bits and pieces, but I have heard really That's good things. That's one where I keep, I'll keep, you know, it comes up in conversation where mm -hmm. uh, you'll, someone will be like, and then of course the brilliance of The Expanse. Mm -hmm. And I, I started watching it and for whatever reason I got pulled away or something happened and I have, I've never come back to it. Um, it's also one where I, where people say like, okay, the first season you kind of just, you do and you, it sort of lays the yeah. groundwork, but don't. Yeah. If you go in expecting to be blown away by the first season, you'll walk away. But if you stay with it, X, Y, Z. So I haven't, I, uh, do you feel like that's true, Lily? It is. Okay. It is. All right. It's, I got to gotta go back to it. Especially because I read the books. Not all of them, mind you, because well, he wrote a, a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, <laughs> because I'm getting tired of like trilogies and whatnot. So I'm like, I just wanted like a book that is like just one book and that's uh -huh. it. So I bought the first one. And I didn't know that that was the first one. So right. Was like, you know, I finished it and I was like, this feels, it's, it feels like it's not. And then I turned to the last page and it continues. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> they got you. <laughs> they they got definitely you. did. But it's, yeah. it's, the book is better. I'm still on that, on yeah. that part. Like, mm. it's, I would it's imagine just, everything is just, you know, so good about it. But okay. they did a very good read book. job to to pull in the very important stuff, yeah, from the book, and and you know and just pick out like what you can kind of leave behind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not uh, perfect, and I don't think it's as good as many people claim it. Okay, all right, but it's good. Okay, it's good. That sounds like a that sounds like a good when you're in between things that you're super mm -hmm. passionate about and you sort of need. You need the yeah. um, the yeah. methadone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. basically. <laughs> Something give me serotonin. I just need it from somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I, and uh, you may want to ask me questions. This is so much more fun for me not to talk no, about no, myself. Honestly, so I'm really enjoying the, this. This but... is the way we like doing these, honestly. Yeah. Okay, but okay, okay. like, as much as I love hearing about like Most of my answers about like... Cora are already out there. So this is more fun for me. But, um, yeah, that's true. but that being said, I don't want to deny, I don't want to like, you know, withhold from you uh, anything you might want to <laughs> ask. But I do have another question, okay. uh, yes. which is about the power, because I, I read the power power when it first came out and I loved it as a book and then now the series is out and I just started watching it and I realized I wanted to read the book again before I watched the series to just kind of get the experience the solo experience of the book before I started like being informed you know what I mean by being influenced by the characters that they chose the actors that they chose so I listened to it uh, as an audiobook and um and I, I thought it was so great and now I'm almost like too nervous to watch the series because I'm afraid I feel like there's a lot that could go wrong with a with a adaptation have you either of you watched or read uh, the power I'm not I, familiar I... with it honestly okay I, okay I, so I saw I saw a little bit about it in um so I get Empire magazine every month and have done for about 10 years at this point uh -huh. um so that's kind of where I get a lot of my news when it comes to this sort of thing so I think I saw it was like one of the the little like bits of news that they popped up and I was like oh I like Tony Collette but yeah. I'm I'm not very good at like Lily will attest to this because there are so many movies she tells me about and some of yeah. them very classic ones where I'm like I haven't gone around to yeah. that one yet um I'm I'm I watch like a, a small amount of things but I watch them very intently I'm not very good right. at like jumping between lots and lots of things so I don't because I've not really heard very much about it other than like I saw that Tony Collette was in it and I like Tony Collette so. yeah that concerns Doesn't. me, but I highly recommend the book. Okay. Highly oh, the recommend book the really book. Good. Yeah. It's just, it's so provocative and it's, I just think it asks, it's it's such a great sort of, it's sort of a satire. It's sort of a female empowerment, but it's asking some really important questions. Um, I just think to me, that's like what sci-fi should mm. be. You know, it's this sort of alternate reality where this you know this thing happens that give women a physical advantage and it really asks some tough questions about I've, what that what that would mean i've seen um, this cover in so waterstones good. many times i'm, like, I'm yeah. like i do recognize this okay i can pick that up i got given yeah. a 30 pound gift voucher for leaving work recently so maybe i'll use that awesome there you awesome go. there you go the book is really good and then that's why i'm very afraid to watch the show because yeah I didn't hear too many good things I about it I'm not I didn't lie. hear good or bad and I think usually there's every once in a while that means it's just undiscovered and people mm. aren't watching it yet but maybe it often yeah is sort of like nobody wants to say it's bad 
because there's right. nothing so offensive about it that makes it worth trashing. Do you know what I mean? But it could yeah. just be like, let's just let this one slip past into the annals of history. You know, I think there's I also know. a thing of like, I, I Amazon's a very strange, um, you know, uh, studio at this point because they don't advertise very much. Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff, some of the really good stuff that I've heard about being on Amazon, I've just not heard anything about until it like kind of trickles through the grapevine like yeah. there was a show called um paper girls that was on amazon mm -hmm. a little while ago which i didn't get a chance to see but i saw a lot of people really like but i never saw it advertised so yeah. it got cancelled very quickly and can't i recommend so, it, no no i can't <laughs> yeah. recommend it it was it showed so much promise and then it uh it really could yes. i just didn't know I yeah yeah all right fair enough but it's like yeah. that, i, I it, love the idea i mean i love the idea but yeah. i just i think I don't, I think that it probably needed to not mm -hmm. go forward. They really would have had to fix mm. maybe too much. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. To be fair, the opinions I did see were on Tumblr, so that's a very... Yeah. Well, I can understand yeah. what about it would sort of, you know, would, would like someone would lock into, there are things mm. about it, and uh, but, but I think, yeah, ultimately it was not maybe, um, it just didn't make any sense. <laughs> Fair enough. That I was agree. part of, part of it. Yeah, I agree. I struggled with that with that series. I was like, yeah, I, I you know, I see what you want to do, but like, didn't quite. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, it, and anytime do you're me. doing time travel, you are you're mm -hmm. going to be held to such a high standard because yeah. there's so much that's out there that is you know has really tackled it in an interesting way or has figured out. I mean, essentially, like once Dark was made. For oh, me, yeah. that was like the bar is uh, so high mm -hmm. for time travel stuff now mm -hmm. that you know that I would be too. I'm like too intimidated by how how great I think Dark was, even with the third season being kind of lackluster. Like I still feel like the first two seasons are like some the best, like oh, yeah. some of the best, if not the very best time travel thing I've ever seen. All Hi. due respect to the Doctor. Uh, <laughs> That's very okay. jam, That's but. Very <laughs> They yeah. just released some pictures um, of them filming for the new series with with Shuti uh, and the new um, companion. Which they're, like they're all in sixties garb. He's got a proper fro. I'm so excited for this. I show mean, to come back. that's listen. Yeah, I was gonna say like there. I I would have said there wasn't really anything that could make me fall back in um, because it just it just stopped working for me at some point. Mm -hmm. um, no, I understand. That and then they announced the casting, and I was like, God. Damn it! I love him so much. <laughs> exactly. God damn! Him I back. have to see they're, what he's gonna do. They're bringing Russell back, and it's like that era of Doctor Who is so much like got what really got me into television, generally speaking, because I sure. like they came back around. It was like two thousand five, so I was about seven. So like it was very much the thing I grew up with, and it was oh, so yeah. like close to my heart, and still is in a lot of ways. So to where the way I I never stopped watching it, even if like so much of like the past oh god like 10 years yeah. at this point have been a bit like where's the magic gone man yeah, yeah. i finished i, it I always David said it started Tennant. to feel like you know yeah it felt did. like it started to feel like doctor who the ride mm -hmm. like that's mm -hmm. sort of how i felt i felt like there was always this music bed underneath that made me feel like i was waiting in line at disneyland mm -hmm. to get on the doctor who ride no i understand like, that you know what i mean there's something sort of floating above the the reality of kind of where you wanted to dig into but again that's like me having given i mean i i gave up on it like like as soon as matt smith was was gone i was and then mm -hmm. i wasn't you know he was great but again it wasn't his fault it was just like during that season i was like oh, i don't think i care about this anymore he yeah it, a lot of it went for me because i i didn't get on because i i love jenna coleman in things i've seen her mm -hmm. in since Agreed. couldn't stand clara at all mm. just like couldn't stand her so when she stayed on with peter capaldi who was another actor right. i love he's wonderful um i just i was sitting there half the time being like oh, no guys yeah. <laughs> hey, what, what, what's what's happening here what are we doing yeah. Yeah. um and then well, we thought that when when moffat left and and chris chibnall took over it was like oh well i really like Broadchurch, so maybe this will be better sure it it really wasn't because it yeah. just didn't have any like there was no oomph underneath it yeah, it, it it lost all that sense of like, there was such a sense of of like, how the hell do I put this properly? 
there was like so much emotion that was carried in um at that first like era with nine and ten um mm -hmm. under under russell that just sort of like i got i had a bit of it it was like it changed with matt smith because i i also just love watching matt smith generally speaking yeah he's um, lovely um but like it just it it, it 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 lost the shine and a Moffat has a lot of things that he will go over and, and do the same things over and over again right. um and he he writes in a way that he thinks he's being cleverer than he is I couldn't agree more that's so <laughs> Moffat in a nutshell isn't it I mean it really is like he's I always want to see what his take on something is mm. I'm interested to see what his take on you know okay I've got to watch you know his take on Dracula I've got to watch his take on you know Jekyll um but every single time i'm like oh honey like <laughs> yeah. one one in 15 of your little zingers delivered at the level that you think all mm -hmm. 15 delivered on and that sort of expands out to the entirety of his storytelling it's so funny yeah like, it's when just, it's good it's great yeah it's it ain't as thing. great as you think it's always great and yeah. that's annoying i um it was really funny because I, by the time Dracula came out, I was kind of like, you know, I'm kind of done watching pretty much anything Moffat does fair. ever now. Very fair. Um, but I watched people get really excited about those first two episodes, and I was like, interesting. I'll keep watching yeah. the response to this, and if they, if they manage to pull it off, then maybe I'll go in for it. And just going from like week one to week two, where people are like, this is amazing, to when the third episode came out and they went, they ruined it. And I was like, well, that <laughs> was quick. <laughs> Things that show promise that don't quite work yeah, yeah. yeah. it's hard uh, to make stuff it's hard to make stuff it is it's very it is, true it is. and i have ultimate respect for anybody who manages to get anything made for sure for sure <laughs> yeah lucky ones um i do have a question hit me so a question what is your comfort movie mm. oh that's such a good question god what is my comfort movie i'm trying to think of because I I'm I'm my first thought was like oh is there a series instead that would be more apt to kind of well. fill that description but I but then I was like but I don't I'm not sure I know what that is either, mm -hmm. um, yet I do I mean of course there are things where I'm like I just need to watch this, mm. um, God I I this is what when I do my podcast and I play mash with people this is like the cruelest thing I do because all I'm doing <laughs> is asking them to name their favorite things and they're like well now that you asked me. I feel like I've never seen a movie in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that one. I've never it, seen a movie. It, I, 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 I asked Yuri the same question and I was like, you know, it's it's a movie that you just keep going back to. Like, you know, whenever yeah. you feel down, you just take it out and then it's it's just going to make you feel better. It's, it's, yeah. It's that kind of movie. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, I think Sense and Sensibility is is up there. Um, okay. I just love Emma Thompson with all my heart, uh, ride or die forever. Um, yes. And and that particular, I have such fond feelings about, you know, the making of that movie and the journal that she kept mm -hmm. that, you know, the screenplay and just knowing that she was such a part of it. And I, I really, um, I'm so fascinated by Ang Lee's career and just how little English she spoke um, yep. at the beginning of his career and possibly still, I'm not sure, but mm. um, just like understanding his communication with movies like that and with the ice storm. Uh, I just, I feel like it's a perfect movie for what it is. Like, and, and it has all of these very positive associations with like a bunch of people that I love watching and who I understand to be friends in real life and to be kind of wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And it's also full of a lot of, you know, storm and drong. So there's a lot of like, you know, upsetting sort of, heartbreaking also maybe life isn't this hard because at least i'm not having to cross a field uh, in a, a heavy dress that i'm getting now pneumonia <laughs> because i was you know trying to see my beloved crush who yeah. failed me um Whoa. so i think i think i'm a little bit of a i think i'm a little bit of a sucker uh for that movie in particular i'm not like a jane austen freak but that movie is oh, it's just so good it's so good it is it's, it's so it i would is. say that's the one i mean you know, is it the t is it at the top? It might not be, but it's, it's significant in this moment that it's immediately the mm -hmm. thing that I sort of came to. You know, without yeah. coming to anything else, just being like, well, there's always some money. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> what about you two? Oh, Katie. oh gosh, this is the thing. I don't really. I think movies is is an odd one because I I don't have as many um because I'm much more of a series person. I will watch TV in whatever form. Um, I, it is very much my sort of. It could be a series. 
Um, yeah. But it, when you, when it, it's so funny that when you were saying like it, this is the thing that has come up because I was just talking to a friend of mine who watched The Princess Bride for the first time the other day, which is yeah. definitely up there. But it, it's in relation to that, like Stardust is oh, like yeah. just it like it, it really is one of those ones where I come back to it, I'm like this movie is just great <laughs> and everything yeah. about it is lovely <laughs> yeah and I love yeah. young Charlie Cox <laughs> and um you can see Henry Cavill with blonde hair and everybody goes what do you mean Henry Cavill's in that movie uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I did that as well Which and I watched it like a lot of every times. time <laughs> yeah Anyway, yeah. So, yeah Neil Gaiman's another one where I always get so nervous with the adaptations I'm always True. so yeah. nervous like I do not I cannot get my hopes up I don't know it's hard those he creates these worlds that I think are really and tones that are really hard to hit perfectly mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. you turn them into a show or a movie um and they I think they you know that's I totally get why Stardust is works for you and and it's a it's a good one to come back to yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Lily <laughs> you've had more time to think mm-hmm. I mean mine is easy peasy lemon squeezy because I always say this it's the Shawshank Redemption yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's a great that's another great one it's like you know it's it's everyone's <sighs> like but that's that's what we so sad no that movie is full of hope and 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 yeah. love and and everything that yeah. that just lifts you up in mm. the end like you know i i just i just love it so much i can it's so good it's so sad, cathartic yeah just bring it in just bring in the short shank redemption I, that's one but it but it's true that there are things i have to be willing to get through mm. like i have to get through the bird and that is mm-hmm. really hard. Like, you know, knowing that you're going to lose somebody or something um, to get to the other side of the feeling good is sometimes I'm like, I can't, I just can't handle that right now. <laughs> I know. It's too much for me. It's too <laughs> much. Yeah. It's so true. And then if, if it's a series, because I have a, I have an answer for that now, because uh, it's, it was something that uh, Katie yelled at me to watch. And I'm so glad I did because it oh, helped me it... through some really hard times it's shit's creek yeah oh sure 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 yeah i love shit yeah what a what a what a surprise i remember when that movie uh, when that show was being made the first season i had friends who worked on the first season and it was mm. just so under the radar because it was only in canada and so they were taught they would talk about it and i was like oh wow i that's too bad no one will ever see this it's essentially <laughs> the vibe that i got from people who were working on it you know they're just like yeah it's just like it's fun but and you know the first season i think is that's another example of something that really you know was finding its footing in the first season and then sure. shape mm-hmm. later um but yeah it went from like the first year and then the second year still kind of not you know it was just start and then all of a sudden like two and a half to three years after they had filmed the first season it was like Psh! Mm-hmm. It was really interesting to watch. Yeah, and I'm it so was glad the best of it. for me because I just I could just watch the entire thing. Together. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> there's something to be said for when you're just it's just it's all there for you. It's very exciting. Yes, and then I cry my eyes out like oh yeah every time I'm like oh, why why are you doing there, this? There are multiple points in season five where I'm like oh this is so <laughs> yep. much. <laughs> <laughs> they oh. knew what they were doing. Oh, it's it's honestly it's the, one of the best things ever that was put on tv it's mm-hmm. it's just so wholesome and I, <laughs> it's just, you know just yeah. so great i just yeah. i'm like yes i want to leave there i want to leave in shit's creek it's it's just great <laughs> yeah yeah that's inspired it's inspiring when something like that um again with like a very specific personality you know, it's funny because it's it, again, it feels like it's broadening the horizon of what people will be interested to watch. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, and so you get excited and then you have to sort of wait for whatever that next thing is going to be. And that next thing is probably not really going to feel anything like Shit's Creek. But for this window of time in Hollywood, everyone's looking for the next mm. Shit's Creek. And oh, yeah. you want to be like, I know, but you say that, but like, don't buy something that you think feels and looks like Schitt's Creek because that will be very bad. Like that mm. won't work. You have to find a thing that's nothing like Schitt's Creek that is mm. very special in its own way and take a chance on that just like they took a chance on Schitt's Creek. You know what I mean? Ted Lasso oh, yeah. is what comes to mind. Um, I knew you were going to say that. That's usually the, that's the, that's <laughs> yeah, the and, uh, but thing. like it, it it's takes, most... uh, one takes us to the other, one depending the, on which one you're talking about. And it helps that I yeah. watched the, the newest episode yesterday when it came out and it has been the best episode of this season so far. 
Nice. Um, it is. I just because I don't, I don't, I don't care about football. It doesn't, yeah, there's nothing. I feel like most me. people who watch that show are like, yeah, football, football. <laughs> yeah, I, I, especially as you know, British person, I'm just like. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah. but then there's like a moment in season two where somebody gets a goal and I actively cried and I was like, is this what liking sports mm-hmm. is like? Mm-hmm. You got a little <laughs> peek in at what it feels like when you really okay. give a care. Oh God, I think this is what it means. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, I just watched um, Air, which is like, you know, the, the Michael Jordan story. Oh, yeah. And Nike got Michael Jordan. How was it? Fucking great. It was good. Fucking right? great, yeah. Right? Uh, I, it's such a good time with it, and and once again, because I'm always like, I don't like sports movies. It's like, it's no, I, it's not my thing. And then I'm like, right, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> why are you doing this? That's good to know because I don't know enough about the story to know why I why it needed to be made. So that was sort of the only feeling I got. Like looking at the billboards, I was like, it's... did we need this? Do you know what I mean? Because I just again, I don't I do, know exactly. enough about it. So I, I really was like, do we need this? Or is this like, just a couple of white guys who are like, come on, we got to just like, let's do this, I guess. But no, no, it works. It's, it's it, it works so well. And Viola Davis is just Oh, yeah, she's sublime. Just, just the best. Just she's the absolute always. best. And, and, you know, just watching this story unfold, it was like, Oh, God, yes. Like, you know, this is how you do it. Because like, you know michael jordan's mom is is the best like she's so headstrong and and she's yeah. doing everything she can and and it comes through so well in the movie i'm like oh, i'm gonna have to see it now please, okay. please. it's so good i i have a very quick game for both oh wonderful oh, she doesn't know she, about this she does this to me she drops uh-huh. things on me. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one in the dark. Wonderful. No, 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 no. Everyone is in the dark except for me. Uh, All right. I'm going to list actors and you have to figure out which movie uh, the actors are in all together. Oh, okay. So this is is an ensemble cast that all belong to one movie. Yes. So you have to figure out what the movie is. Obviously, I'm going to leave the biggest name to the okay. last and if you okay. still can figure it out from the biggest right. name then i'm gonna just reveal it okay so then. is this like uh like if katie hears the first two and that's enough for her to take a guess she can do that you like, can do it like of... at the first one <laughs> well, you... okay. but, okay, but here's the question are you pitting us against each other or can we discuss you can discuss. Great question. Think, I'm happy to not be in competition. Should... Okay. I'm happy to be in You know, I, yeah, it, it, I, I may know, I know things about movies, but I'm not necessarily the one who's seen everything. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. This, yeah, this, you this can work together then. That's that's fine. All right. I'm like a nerd up to a certain point, but then mm-hmm. like if start, stuff starts stretching into territories I don't know as well, I, mm-hmm. I go from like really great to useless. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. Ready. The first two people is Ron Perlman and okay. Ariana Grande. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> and so they're not the lead. So we we they know not it's not a Hellboy. We know no. it's not something. No. You know, we know it's not Ron Perlman in the in the front and center nope. of this. Nope. He's I'm a side character. On the idea that this may be an animated movie. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Oh, That's a that good, er, good early thing to find out. Good <laughs> early thing. Very, what very the good hell question. Is Ariana Grande. <laughs> That's the question. Uh-huh. I have. Okay. I, okay. I, I next like, one. I, I, next yeah. one. Go for the next one. Melanie Linsky. Oh, is this Mel's new? In it. it is newish. Yes. Okay. Mel is in it. Is this is almost? I think I feel like it's. Low. This is actually setting off a lot. I think I might have it. Yeah. You do. Is it Don't Look Up? Yes. Oh, my God. How did you do it? Great. I knew work. Ariana Grande was in something recently. Oh, and I was you're like, so I couldn't. good. There was, there was something in there. Oh, my God. I've only watched that once and I was kind of falling asleep. And so I, <gasps> I, I haven't don't seen think I, I don't think I would have. Yeah. I, I, I definitely will watch it again at some point. I, I, I so again, good. will always watch something from Adam McKay. Hell you know, yeah. Whether Hell or not, I'm yeah. sure, whether or not, I think I'm going to want to watch it. But um, fair, fair. yeah, I mean, I thought it was good. I, I, but it was a, it's a huge cast. It's a huge cast. It so is. A, I that's why I chose that it. That could have taken me a while. That could have taken me a good long while. Katie, MVP, yeah. came in well hot. Done. Well done. All right, next one. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Joseph Gordon-Lewitt, mm-hmm. Mark mm-hmm. Rylance. Was okay. All right. 
He it can't be it can't be like Inception because like that's just yeah. he just Joseph and jo Joseph Gordon Levitt wasn't as key and I mean mm -hmm. you know can't Joseph, can't be that Mark key. Mark Rylance wasn't in Inception. No, uh, I, I, well exactly. <laughs> but if you told me that Mark Rylance had been in it in some weird side character in one of the layers, I would have been like, oh okay, yeah, not that. Like, I just I forgot, understand you know? that makes sense. Um, um uh, not he, like he, he's, not like yeah. Sorry. Is the no, big you, thing you is know. that. Joseph Gordon Levitt had a big period of time where he did not act yes. in anything. Uh -huh. So either this is really new or it's quite uh -huh. old. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to okay. hear the next person? Yeah. Alex okay. Sharp. Not helpful because I can't think of who that is. I don't know but... who that is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then you want to hear the next one. Just oh, wait. Hold on. Let me let, hold on just a second. Okay. Let's just <laughs> think about this for a second. I'm just trying to think if he's. I was trying to think. And now I'm in the Mark Rylance mode, which. To your point, Katie, he's like very ubiquitous right now. So, mm -hmm. so trying to figure out like because he also was in a bunch of stuff back in the day, but we didn't necessarily know who That's he true. was on the same level. He was more of just a character actor who shows up and no one knew him by name kind of thing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm still I'm still loving this kind of like what's recent versus what's older. The only thing I saw Mark Rylance in really recently was the outfit. And I know that Joseph Gordon Levitt wasn't in that. So but I can't, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Something about this is feeling like early two thousands to me. <laughs> God, you're so I, good. I, the only thing I, the last thing I, I watched that had Mark Rylance in it was I rewatched Bridge of Spies, which okay, I do not fair. think Joseph Gordon Levitt is in. No, no. Okay, no, okay. I'm was... gonna, I'm gonna give you a big name now. Okay. okay. Maybe it, it will help. Michael Keaton. Oh, Michael Keaton. God, this not is Birdman. Really... No, not the Birdman. I, no. I can't think a... of either of those two people being in it. No, I know for a fact that Katie has seen this movie. And now you brought in another actor who had a totally other huge gap where he wasn't in anything. Yeah. And then all of a sudden was in everything again. Should Am I, I right reveal... in thinking? No, 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 no. I, I want to get a better sense of when this movie came out. <laughs> well, am I right in thinking that this is like older? No. No. Is this, oh, this no. Is new? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. And I've seen this. Yes, you did. And you've seen it, and Michael <laughs> Keaton's in it. It's a bigger name, yeah. but there might, but it sounds like there's more people after that. So, yeah. this, is it this... that? Oh, 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 uh oh. You, you got it. You got oh, it. God. I can I feel this. it. I know what this is. Fuck. Describe it to me. I may be able to help you. No, I, no, I mean, I don't. It's like, it's, it's so amorphous that I can't even tell you what it is, but it is a, it's something that, I, I remember thinking Michael Keaton would of course say yes to this director. Like that's or there's some there's some there's some connection for Michael Keaton where I was like, oh, it makes sense to me for some reason it made sense that Michael Keaton was in it and now but I can't tell you why or what the movie is. How long ago did I see this? <laughs> Fairly recently, I would say. Was it like a cinema thing? Did I, I no. In... no, okay. It's not in the cinema. It, it was never in the cinema. I it wasn't in the cinema. Right? Yeah, direct to a stream. I, I will give you the biggest clue. Okay. Eddie Redmayne. What the and fuck yeah, is still... this movie? <laughs> also, I should say, I don't think I've seen this movie. Like, I don't have a, I... my own association yeah, with it. I have I... A, a being aware of it being made and Who's not but not having seen it yet. Mark Rylance, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. What was it? I'm trying to think of what the, the thing that like Joseph Gordon-Levitt was in recently. The only thing I saw really recently that had Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it was Poker Face. And that's a series. So... No. That's not the should I should I reveal it because I have one more that I really wanted. To okay, do. reveal okay. it so we can get to the last one. The trial of the Chicago Seven. Fuck. I saw it. There you go. <laughs> that is such a good movie. <laughs> it is such a good movie. See, Again, if you'd said like God, Sasha if you had asked me to name I any of that cast, that. <laughs> yeah, if you asked me to name any of that cast, I might have come up with Joseph Gordon Levitt and no one else, Maybe? and I still couldn't. I still couldn't think of it, even it's though probably... there's a ton of famous people in that. I totally forgot he was in that movie. I honestly, I think, <laughs> I think the ones that would have gotten it for me, if you mentioned Jeremy Strong and Sasha Baron yeah. Cohen, I might have. I, might I know. Have if you said Sasha Baron Cohen, we would have gotten it. Yeah. I know. Quick. I, I, I left him they, out on you know purpose. What? They're all, it's one of those ensemble movies where they're all kind of equal roles and they're all, they cancel themselves out in my mind. Like I yeah, forgot no, all I know of them. Exactly you either remember them all or you forget every single one. <laughs> okay. Right. Great one. All right. What's the last one? Last one. All right. So I will give you two again. Okay. The first one is Alison Jenny. Okay. Love her. The next one is on the camp. 
on a camp, on a camp mm-hmm. Alice and Janney. Mm-hmm. On a camp, Alice and Janney. I feel like we can. Do get I know there. who Anna Camp is? <laughs> you do probably. It's probably. one of those like, like I can hear the, like, the name sounds familiar. I cannot. She showed up for me like... for the first time on True Blood. Like that's where I remember first seeing her. I just was um, really True perfect. Blood. Okay, is it's perfect? Think, that's I'm a big one for the, her. The, the, She's the, tiny, the... blonde. Yeah. yeah, big, perfect teeth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should, no, should I get the one next one? I haven't seen. Okay. Uh, whew, uh, thing is, everyone is big in this. Um, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Octavia Spencer. Fuck. The that's help. it's not. Yes. It's not like hidden away. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is, I, I, I have a bit of an insight into this because that's one of Lily's favorite movies. So I yeah. don't even know what you just said. The Help. Oh, The Help. Yeah, I was, I, mm-hmm. I was like, it's either Hidden Figures or The Help. Um, it's yeah, no, my favorite movies. It's yeah, solid. It's very much <laughs> up there as one of the. Who I have to <laughs> yeah, good. You had the inside. You had the inside yes. scoop. Well done. Mm-hmm. Well done. I will put an yep. applause here. Well done. Great well game. Done. Love games okay. like that. Would we'll do it yeah. forever. Yes. Uh, oh shit. I guess I gotta jump off, lady. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and this was uh, really fun. This was so great. Yeah, we Thank should do it again. We, we should bring everyone together. That everyone. I know. I feel like we have yes. a lot of. Re- so you're gonna have to go back and watch this and remember all the things we were supposed to report back on because now we have all these Heck things yeah. that individually we're supposed mm-hmm. to check out and, yeah. and say what we think. All right, here I go. I'm running to this other meeting. Uh. Bye. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you for coming. We will do the outro without. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, yeah. This this that was, is a lot of fun. That was fun. fun. Um, and you know, you're gonna see us now a lot. It's gonna, there's so, gonna be a bunch of stuff coming out with just the two yeah. of us, and it's gonna be great. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, until then, mm-hmm. watch movies. Watch movies. Mm-hmm.